I know that it sounds really nice and catchy, and most of us think we've been doing it all of our lives. And yes, we have. But there's a moment we get to create the kind of life we really want. And that's only happening when we evaluate and explore what in fact we are really thinking. Whose thoughts are ours? Whose thoughts are somebody else's? And then write it down. Get naked with yourself, with grace and love. I find it fascinating because the more you're able to look at yourself with grace and love, the more you're able to love yourself to the change that you're looking for. Morning thoughts matter. And I'm saying the way you shape your thoughts in the morning really impact how you're going to spend your day. It shapes how you're going to gravitate toward things. It shapes what you will entertain. The song by George Benson, Everything Must Change, is truly a right song. It is honest. Morning comes, daylight happens, birds fly. That is true. The other thing that's true is that you get to change not by chance, but by intentionality. Because what you think controls your destiny. So I'm encouraging today to authentically look at yourself, write down what you see, and get a journal. You know, I've written one that goes with this book. But get your own journal, because this is your journey. Because your morning thoughts are shaping what you see. And if you are not happy with what you see, this is an opportunity to turn it around. So yes, change happens, and it can happen intentionally you reshape your morning thoughts and you write down what you see so that you don't depend upon your wonderful memory to recall it every time you need it. It's nice to write it down and then later on down the line go back and look and see how you really change what's going on in your life. Manifesting what you want is sweet. Let me say it one more time. Manifesting what you want is sweet because you are changing your thoughts and shaping how you want your life to look. You know, I trust you. I believe in you. I know this has happened for you because it's happened for me. And I am encouraging you to allow your morning thoughts to become your daily thing.